Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice math problem. So we find that no calculators that are around. So let's provide a solution from here. We have 5 to the power of 11 minus 9. We can express 5 to the power of 11 as 5 to the power of 10 plus 1 minus 9, which is 5 plus 4. So this is the same thing as 5 to the power of 10 plus 1. This is in the form of 8 to the power of n plus m, which can be expressed as 8 to the power of n times a to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 5 to the power of 10 times 5 to the power of 1 minus, now let's open the parentheses here, this is minus 5, minus times plus 4, this is minus 4. So now we have 5 to the power of 10 multiplied by 5, 5 to the power of 1 is 5, minus 5, then minus 4. So since 5 is common here, we can factor out 5 so that we have 5 into the parentheses. This is 5 to the power of 10 minus 1, cross the parentheses, then minus 4. Now the next step is that we can express 5 to the power of 10 as this is 5 into the parentheses, this is 5 to the power of 5 multiplied by 2. 5 times 2 is the same thing as 10, so minus 1, cross the parentheses, then minus 4. Now, 5 to the power of 5 times 2, this is in the form of a raised to the power of n multiplied by m, which you can express as a to the power of n raised to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 5 into the parentheses. This is 5 raised to the power of 5, then this to the power of 2, minus 1, cross the parentheses, then minus 4. Now, we have that 1 squared, this is the same thing as 1. If you say 1 squared, this is the same thing as 1. So we can express this as 5 into the parentheses, this is 5 to the power of 5, raised to the power of 2, then minus 1 squared minus 4. The next step is that we have 5 to the power of 5 to the power of 2 minus 1 squared. This is the difference of two perfect squares expressed as a squared minus b squared, which we can express as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. So here we have 5 into the parentheses. This is 5 to the power of 5, then plus 1, multiplied by 5 to the power of 5, minus 1, then minus 4. Now we have that 5 to the power of 5, this is the same thing as 5 multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5. So this is the same thing as 3125. So let's substitute this so that we have 5 into the parentheses. This is 3125 plus 1 multiplied by 3125 minus 1, cross the parentheses, everything here, subtract 4. So we have here, this is 5 into the parentheses, that's 125 plus 1, this is 3126, multiplied by that 125 minus 1, this is 3124, cross the parentheses, then minus 4. So this means that here we have 5 into the parentheses. We can express that 126. This is the same thing as 3100 plus 26. Multiplying by, this is 3100 plus 24. 
if you see that 100 plus 24, this is 3124, and 3126, 3100 plus 26, this is 3126. So everything here minus 4. Now, the next step from here, we can express this as 5 into the parentheses. This is 31 times 100 plus 26. Then here we have 31 times, that 100 is the same thing as 31 times 100, then plus 24, cross the parentheses, then minus 4. So the next step is that we can let 100 be equal to u. So let's substitute u where we have 100. So that here we have 5 into the parentheses. This is 31 times u, then plus 26. Multiplying by 31u plus 24, cross the parentheses, minus 4. So here we have 5 into the parentheses. Let's make that 1u plus 26 the subject of the formula so that we have 31u times 31u plus 24 then plus 26 multiplying by 31u plus 24 cross the parentheses then minus 4. Now let's expand this equation here so that we have 5 into the parentheses that 1u we have that 1u times that 1u. This is 961u squared. Then plus that 1u times 24. This is equal to 744u. Then plus 26 times that 1u. This is equal to 806u. Then plus 26 times 24, which is 624, 624 minus 4. Now, from here, let's correct the like terms here, so that we have 5 into the parentheses. This is 961u squared, then plus 744u plus 806u. This is equal to 1550u, then plus 624, cross the parentheses, then minus 4. This is minus 4. We have 4 here. Now the next step is to open this parenthesis here. 5, we have 5 times 9 is the 1 u squared. And this is equal to 4805 u to the power of 2. Then plus, this is 5 times 1550 u. And this is 7000, 750 u. Then plus 5 times 624, and this is equal to 3120, then subtract 4. So this implies that here we have 4805u squared, then we have plus 7750u, then plus, this is 3120 minus 4, so this is 3116. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we are saying that let 100 be equal to u. So let's substitute u with 100 here, so that we have 4805 times 100 squared, then plus 7750 times 100, then plus 3116. So we have 4805, this is 4805 times 100,000 squared, this is 100 squared, this is 10,000, then plus 70, 775,000, then plus 3116. Now, this is equal to 48 million and 50,000. Then plus, this is 775,000. Then we have, this is 31. We have 31, 16. So this is 31, 
16. So this implies that here we have 16. This is 1. This is 1. Then 5 plus 3. This is 8. Then we have 7 plus 5. This is 12. So 2 carry 1 here. 7 plus 1. This is 8. Then we have 48. So we have 48 million. 828,116. So this is the solution to this math problem. So this is the solution to this math problem. So kind of follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. So this is 48 million, 828,000. 116. Thank you for watching.